warm welcome to Christina Lopez. Thank you. Um, I am from uh, Seattle, and it's an honor to be here in the Bay Area in the middle of uh, Labor Fest. Um, I think it's great that the whole month of July is dedicated to uh, labor, um, especially that since there's a, a lot to learn from the labor history. A lot of the fights that they led actually improved uh, the standard of living for uh, just about everybody. Right now, we're at a time and place when the labor movement is taking a beating. Um, wages are coming down, unemployment is high, uh, um, they're taking away our health care, our pensions, and you know, as a consequence, well, there's foreclosures and the poverty rate keeps increasing. The labor history that we're learning in this festival, and this is why I think it's awesome that you're dedicating the whole month of July for labor, is we need to learn from that, and it should be taught to us in our schools, but it's not. And I think it's that people are afraid of the ideas that the next generation of workers can get from the labor history. Um, with the Republicans and the Democrats, the elected officials are failing the labor movement. They're failing people of color. They're failing women with children. They're failing just about everyone. And that is one of the reasons why I'm running for vice president as a freedom socialist candidate. I will not run as a Republican, I will not run as a Democrat. I, frankly, I gave up on the Democrats during the Clinton years. So it's really great to be running as a freedom socialist candidate along with Stephen Durham. I just uh, want to say also something about my experience in Tucson. I just got back this weekend, this past weekend I was in Tucson to participate in the Freedom Summer. Over there, uh, they de dedicated, just like you guys, the whole month of July uh, for the fight to save ethnic studies and oppose uh, racist um, laws like SB 1070. And right now they're also in the middle of a labor fight because they fired uh, some teachers, uh, several teachers, but there's two that are being sued for defamation. Um, that's uh, Sean Arce and Jose Gonzalez. Um, they're teachers that were really fighting militantly uh, to save the Mexican American studies class. And I can't help thinking of how successful this uh, Mexican American studies because the graduation rate uh, for students to go there is 98%, <coughs> and a high portion of those go on to college. And I can't help thinking that when I graduated from high school, a lot of the kid, a lot of the, my classmates that I grew up with didn't graduate from high school. It's it's a it's a continually problem. It's a continual problem in the Latino community that 58%. You know, we got very low graduation rates. And here's this program that should be celebrated and expanded to the whole state of Arizona. I didn't get the benefit of a Mexican American studies class. And I should have. And it makes me mad that they want to do away with it. And I think they want to do away with it because it's successful and it gives people ideas such as a, a militant history of your culture, of the fights that the Mexican Americans led for social justice, just like the, the labor history. So that's why it's under attack. You know, they can't help thinking that um, they don't want us going to college. They don't want us to get ideas. They want us to work minimum wage jobs, cleaning the, the, the motel rooms, working in the restaurants, and, uh, or being in jail or fighting a rich man's war. Even so, I think that I can't help thinking that even if we're there cleaning the floors or working in a restaurant to get the ideas that we can go on strike to demand a better wages, to demand better working conditions. And I think um, to see what the students did to save their ethnic studies is they militantly took over the student, uh, the, the school board meeting, chained themselves, and said, education under attack, what do we do stand up for back? And I think this is what labor needs to get back to, back to that militancy, back to the going out into the street and fighting for our rights, because we're fighting for the next generation of workers. We're fighting for the pensions for our retirees. And um, thank you very much for your time. And if you want to know more about our campaign, go to votesocialism.com. Thank you very much.